She's the most beautiful woman in WWE. You can't have to have the face tarnished, right? Yeah, she did tell you to say that earlier, so I respect that for you doing it. But here's Naomi. Now the power of Naomi. And Carmella right off the jaw as Sasha Banks looks on. Kip up from Naomi. And Carmella covering up the moneymaker. Oh, and a kick. Yeah. to the face. Cover by Naomi. And Carmella kicks it too. Naomi looking to end this thing early. I won't smack you. Oh, I'll kick you. Feel the glow of these feet in the face, but Carmella wearing the mask has absolute grit in it. Yeah, Carmella, as vicious as they come. And now Queen Zelina trying to stick their way into the picture. And Sasha Banks gonna make Zelina pay. Oh, Meteora into the steps. And now Naomi taking out Carmella. You can hear that echo throughout the arena. And now Naomi up to the top rope. Split leg moonsault. Cover on Carmella. Is it enough? Hook of the win. Naomi with the win. And the match only lasts is, what, one minute? Two minutes? And Natalia looking on as she's always scouting me. Don't, I don't get it. You know, why, why are these matches so, so goddamn short? I don't get it. And honestly, you could have booked another, another match. I mean, why, why does why does the champion have to get pinned on TV? I don't get it. You could have just booked another match, and you still could have built towards the match at Mania between those two teams. But you have to book them against one each other. How many? This is what's gonna happen. All right, next week you're gonna get Sasha versus um. You're gonna get Sasha versus Selena next week, and then you're gonna get Sasha versus Carmella, and then you're gonna get Naomi versus Selena. For, for the next couple of weeks, all up until WrestleMania. That's how they book it. So how about I guarantee you this this will happen next week. Next week you're gonna see, you're gonna see Sasha versus Selena, and then the next week you'll see Naomi versus Selena, and then the next week you see Sasha versus Carmella, and that's how they book it. This is just shitty booking. Why do they book tag team feuds? In WWE like this, where they have to book book each other in one-on-one -on -one matches and, and tag team title feuds. Number one, the, the, the person needs momentum. Number two, the challenger. Well, same thing with number one. The challenger needs momentum and the champion needs momentum. So why do they why do they both have to face each other in a match and one of them has to take a loss and stifle their momentum? I don't get it. I never get that get that booking. So yeah, man. Uh, you could have put a separate match. Where's Shashi Blackheart? You know, where's where's Aaliyah? Where's Shayna Baszler? Who else? Who, who's else? Who else is on the SmackDown roster? Yeah, that's about it. You need to keep more women on the main roster, man. Even though they're not ready for the main roster, I would advocate for Toxic Attraction to come to the main roster after WrestleMania. Put them on SmackDown. You know, uh, where, where why is I don't I don't even want them on the main roster. But you know, where's you, you need more women on the main roster? You, well, where's Dakota Kai? Where's Io? Come on, you you need you got to get more more talent on on your roster, man. Hell, even even bring Rock C straight to the main roster. She don't need NXT to be honest. She she can fit like a glove on the main roster. If you just give her that platform and just put and just put the right, that's all. And don't water down her character. Don't change nothing about her. Keep her in the Ring of Honor gimmick, the prodigy. You know, the, the cool girl. You get what I'm saying? It is not that fucking hard to book, man. It's really not. But, but they're too lazy.